Hi, I'm Stephen Levy, the Managing Director of Heat Outdoors. A question we often get asked is how do we do a soap test or a soapy water test to check there aren't any leaks on a gas heater? This is really, really important. It needs to be done on a regular basis. If the heater is used in a commercial environment, it needs to be done very regularly to make sure it's safe, especially when bottles are getting changed almost on a daily basis. It is possible for hoses to get punctured or for connections to get work themselves loose. Now, it's very, very simple to do. I've got this here. This is from an Athena heater. Um, you'll see the hoses connected at the side here in, in the normal way. If you had a different type of gas heater, you're just going to find a different way that it's connected, but you'll always have the same hose, same Jubilee clip on both ends. What you'll do is connect it up to the bottle, connect it to the gas bottle. This one is a clip-on regulator, so that'll pop on. Turn the gas on, and that's then allowed gas all the way up the pipe under pressure. What we then do is take some soapy water. Now, this is just a few drops of washing up liquid at the end of the day, mixed with water. That's all you need. Once the gas is under pressure in the hose, simply spray it on, on the hose, and if there's anything to see, it'll start immediately bubbling up. You'll see bubbles popping out all over it. Yeah? Run down the hose, you'll see that there's no issues there, and then again, go over the connection here to make sure that there's no bubbles coming out. If there are bubbles, turn the unit off, get an engineer in, get it checked, make sure it's because it's not going to be safe. It's really important that you do this with soapy water and not with a flame. If you use a lighter or anything like that, it's really, really dangerous, especially if there is a leak because there'll be a gas buildup perhaps going on underneath the heater. You put a lighter in there and you're likely to lose your eyebrows rather than just check whether there's a leak. So soapy water test. Do it very regularly. Uh, some manufacturers re recommend that you, must, you should do this each time a cylinder has changed. I think that's probably a little bit extreme. But always keep looking, keep checking, stay safe. Mm -hmm.